really, really exciting to be able to plug this in and now you've got a portable power source. Anywhere you are, anywhere you're traveling, any time of the day or night when there's a power outage or you just need portable power, you've got it. But did you know that this little cube will also jumpstart your car? This is an extraordinary item at a wonderful price tonight. We're going to welcome in Brett Hamilton, one of our electronic experts, who is here tonight with Halo Bolt, the ACDC portable power and jump car jumper with the AC outlet and car charger. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Hello, good everybody. to see you. You too. So this is an item that so many folks at QVC swear by. I can tell you also that tonight, it's only $89.96. How does right. that compare with retail? $114 is our regular QVC price. You're saving $24.04 tonight, and with the free shipping, Brett, $29.54 is your total savings. And six easy payments. Yeah, and I can't think of a more useful gadget any time of the year. It doesn't have to be the spring, it doesn't have to be the summer, winter, fall. If you drive a vehicle, if you own a tractor for your lawn, if you have a boat, if you have gadgets, if, 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 and we all have, this could be a nice little uh, supplement to all that because aside from the fact, as David said, that because of these two hubs right here, these two USB hubs, I can charge any phone, I can charge any tablet, I can keep a computer alive when there's no power, I can turn on a lamp, I can turn on a fan, and by the way, It'll charge your car. I remember years back, David, I bought one of those jump boxes. Keep it in your, uh, your glove compartment. Not your glove compartment. wouldn't fit in the glove compartment. It fit in the trunk. And it was like this. And it had big honking uh, jumper cables on there. And sometimes it worked. And sometimes it didn't. And did you have it with you? No, you took it out of the car because you had to put groceries in there. This will fit in your glove compartment. This will stay charged for up to a year. And as I said, yeah, for all this good stuff, but more importantly, for the vehicle behind me because if it's you if it's the kids if it's somebody that gets stranded on the side of the road and all of a sudden there's nobody to help there's nobody around you don't have jumper cables maybe the car is parked head in meaning that you can't get to the trunk this will save the day now let's also remind you that in this pack up you're going to receive your halo bolt there's a car charger an ac adapter jumper cables and in case you're wondering well what if i forget how to jump start the car this old carrying case has the instructions printed right on the outside of the bag. Yeah, they made it easy. Now, Brett, we also have color choices. I'm going to ask you to be my pointer. Sure. Uh, the one closest to you, I believe, is called Violet Paisley. That's is that the, right? Yeah, that's the Paisley there. Then we're over to the gunmetal. The gunmetal in the middle. And you were saying, Scott, about gunmetal? Oh, the wood grain. The wood grain is getting limited. There. We'll get down there. Yep. But right here, this is the rose gold. That's the rose gold, yeah. Here's the wood grain that's getting limited. Yep. 600 remain there. In the middle, I believe that one is? This is the blue, and that would be the, I'm sorry, the, yeah, that's the blue. No, there. this is the um, silver graphite, and that's the blue. Yeah, blue graphite. Blue graphite. Silver, yeah. Yep, two graphites, blue and a silver. All right, now, all this coming together for you at a really remarkable value. Over 65,000 of these sold, and I'm going to tell you, the very first time you use this to jumpstart a car, you're going to thank your lucky stars that you have it. And it's going to more than pay for itself. Because if you had to wait for a tow truck, and let's say you are, because cars never, batteries never go dead at a convenient time. No. They never go dead when you just happen to going out, the, you know, let's go outside and start the car for the fun of it. No, and you never do it that, work. right? Yeah. So it happens when you're in an airport parking garage. It happens when you are driving the kids to school. It happens when you come out of an amusement park and the car battery is dead. That's when it happens, and it's so inconvenient, and usually on a weekend or at night, very expensive to get some help, and sometimes very dangerous to flag someone down. Now you are independent, and you've got the tool to get the job done. Yeah, the jumper cables come with it. Now, we'll get to what it charges and all that good stuff in a second, but I want to show you guys in real time just how easy it is to jump a car. And I can say this, I've never had to jump my car but I have jumped three vehicles in the lifetime that I've had this. So in the last couple years, uh, an uncle, a friend and a complete stranger in a mall parking lot when Meg and I were coming out one night. It was an older woman and I could just hear the tick, 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 tick. And I walked over and of course immediately she was like, who are you? Why? I'm like, this is going to save the day right here. And I actually wound up giving it to her and letting her keep it. So if we use it for one time, one time only to charge a car, I would say that it's probably paid for itself. So take a peek over here if you would. David, I'm going to have you actually jump the car if you don't mind. Are we actually going to start the car? Yeah, we'll start it. So I know that we may not be able to see. Oh, yeah, we got it right there. Okay. So here's the deal. You open up your hood. You look at the battery and you go, I got no idea. Does red go to black? Does black go to red? Halo has taken all the guesswork out of it because what they've done 
is they put a safety on here. And what do I mean by that? Well, here's our red, here's our black, but I make a mistake and I put the red there and I put the black there and I hit the button. Look at that. It'll tell me by blinking red, no, you got to mix it up. This is not going to start a car right now. You have them backwards. So what do you do? You turn it off. You go over here, black, red. Now you'll feel it click in your palm. I felt it click. You see a solid green. Go ahead, David. Wow, there you go. That's the best sound in the whole world. Yeah, that's two o'clock in the morning. That's two o'clock in the afternoon. That's you by yourself without having to use these, without having to use the old school jumper cables, David. Well, and that makes all the difference in the world. Take a look at our videotape here, reminding you that this is quick, it's easy, it's simple. There's even a light built in. This sell price is amazing. The shipping and handling is free. The time now is for you to think about peace of mind and how much you'd pay for it and how much you'd pay for a call to the auto club or to roadside assistance or to a tow truck or the danger you would then run if you were to flag down a stranger. And let's make it even more compelling. Your teenage brand new driver is out by themselves and they're beside themselves because the battery is dead. Yeah. Do you want your teenage brand new driver flagging down a stranger to help them jump start their car? And not only that, David, not to interrupt, but the teenager probably has no idea whether it goes red to black, black to red, black to black, that. red, whatever it might be. So this will avoid any sort of confusion and more importantly, damage to the vehicle because they put it on like they're supposed to, it starts. If they mix up the cables, it doesn't start, no harm, no foul. But as you said, are you flagging down a complete stranger or will somebody even stop anymore because they're probably just as uh, intimidated to put it lightly uh, as you might be to, to help out a stranger but as David pointed out an outlet on the side why do you have that well this is a nice little uh, a nice little extra because as we get into spring as we get into summer and it starts to rain and the power goes out here and there during a storm you could power a lamp you lose your air conditioning you could power a fan but you can also power all these devices and if you take a look at this little chart right here, I've got some charge times for you. This is mind blowing to think about the tablet, the phone, the computer. All of this can come back to life now. Look at that right there, David. If you've got a phone, 100 extra hours of talk time. And that would give me an awful lot of extra time to be able to, <laughs> to be uh, connect with friends. And that's what makes this so amazing. Yeah, it's a jump starter for a car, but it's also going to be a way for you to add all that talk time. Jump start your car, your truck, your SUV, lawnmower boats, power your laptop, your mobile phone, your tablets, your televisions, fan during a summer power outage. Wouldn't that be nice? Yep. Lamp. Uh, MP3 player, GPS camera, gaming system, and e-readers. It's going to power them all. And I'll tell you also, just the other evening, home watching television, lights go out, look out the window, the entire neighborhood is dark. Jump on Facebook, come to understand that someone has hit a power pole near a transformer and took out an entire grid of the community. And that doesn't come back 10 minutes later. Lights were out for six hours. Now it was close to bedtime, so it just went to bed. But it was one of those situations where if you needed to have extra power or to power a light or to be able to charge your computer, maybe your little one was doing homework and maybe a paper for school the next day. All these kinds of things become really critically important as to why you need a power source in your home. Brett, let's go through color choices again. Sure. The one closest to you is called this is the, Paisley. the Violet Paisley. Mm -hmm. In the middle for you, I've got the gunmetal then the rose gold. Most limited is the wood grain, 300 now, and that wood grain a moment ago, that was 600. Then I've got it for you in silver graphite, and finally in the blue graphite. Nearly a thousand of these are gone now, and take a look at what you're getting. You're getting your jumper cables. You're also getting your wall charger. Now this is what you're going to plug into the halo bolt to charge it up. Here's your car charger. There's a carrying case with your halo bolt inside, and in case you're nervous that you're not gonna remember how to jumpstart that car, they printed the instructions right on the outside of the bag. Yeah. I have a bag just like this in the back cargo area of my car. Right underneath, right? And it's right there at the ready when I need it. How long will these Halo bolts hold their charge yeah. if we don't use them? They'll hold the charge for a year. In fact, the only thing that, uh, that Halo asks you to do is from time to time, tap on that blue button on the front and you'll see the battery meter. If it starts to run low and even if you haven't used it yet, plug it in for a couple hours, stick it back in the car and you're ready to go. Lots and lots of you are making your choice now. Let's welcome Karen right here in Pennsylvania. Karen, good evening. How are you? Hi, David. 
Nice to have you here, and I'm, I'm glad to know that you are home safe tonight. Talk to us about the Halo Bolt. I actually have two of them, and I have since purchased one for my daughter as well. Um, I went out to go to church on a Sunday, and my car wouldn't start, so I started my car. So then another time, I had upped mine to the better one that has the AC adapter built into it because I have a CPAP machine, so I have that in case there's any issues. But I was in a parking lot, and two gentlemen had the old-time jumper cables connected from one vehicle to the other, and they were unable to get the car started. And I got out and went over with my Halo, and it started right up. Oh, wow. Saved the day. Look at that. Yeah, so they, they were pleased. Yeah, I bet you they were. So, Karen, what would you say to folks out there who are looking at this and saying, should they drop $90 on this tonight? Was it a good purchase for you? Oh, definitely, because my daughter has a CPAP machine as well as I do, and I purchased one for her, too, just for peace of mind in case we would be without power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, you can charge all of your, your devices as well, even if you just have a Correct. phone or yeah, a I've used it for my cell phone and such, so. Yeah. Well, that is perfect. Karen, I'm so glad that you uh, called tonight. I'm hoping everyone is well at your house. Yes, definitely. Wonderful. Well, our continued good wishes to you and your family and everyone in your community. Stay tuned tonight because we're here with you all the way until midnight with lots of great items to make your home your best space, okay? Okay, thank you, David. You're so welcome. Be well. Uh-huh, you too. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, lots and lots of you making your choice. 1,200 of these are now gone. Lots of people making their choice. And remember, this is your peace of mind. And you have to think about how much you would pay for this kind of peace of mind. And think more specifically how much you'd pay to hire a mechanic, yeah, or a tow truck, or roadside assistance, or the auto club, whoever's gonna come. And if you're on the side of the highway and it's 10 o'clock at night, how long is it gonna take for someone to come and help you? If they come at all, and even then, what's it gonna cost as, a, as compared to something like this that you could use it to charge the car and may never need it to charge the car? The peace of mind that goes along with that, but the everyday use, because I find that when you have portable power, you're less likely to have to be tethered to something, right? You don't have to be by a wall outlet to recharge a tablet, to recharge a phone, to power a computer, devices, whatever it might be. Nice to know that wherever you are, and I mean wherever you are, you've got a power source, David, plus the outlet on the side. And remember, you've got the emergency light. One last thing, two USB hubs right here. And believe it or not, when you plug a device into USB rather than into the wall, it actually charges the devices faster. So six, over 1,600 now ordered in this show. We're gonna invite everyone to stay on the line for your color choice of the Violet Paisley, the gunmetal, the rose gold, the wood grain, which continues to be, oh, now fewer than 200. Then the silver graphite, and then the blue graphite. This is E232944. Um, Brett, we're gonna see you back later with a Bose item. Yes. The Solo 5, and that's gonna be exciting. We've also got a lot more planned for you tonight. So many cool items for all around your home.